Let's look at basic rules in mathematics. It is important to note that this expression and this one are not the same. Here we have minus 3 raised to power 2, and here we have minus 3 in a bracket, and it is raised to power 2. Now, in this first expression, minus 3 raised to power 2, the square has nothing to do with the minus sign. The square has something to do with 3 alone. So this is equal to 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. So you bring in your minus sign. So minus 3 squared is equal to minus 9. Now, in this case, the square or the exponent is outside the bracket. Okay, so that means that the square affects the minus sign and affects the number 3. So eh, minus square is minus times minus. Minus times minus is plus. And 3 square is 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So this is equal to plus 9. Okay? Because 3 times 3 is 9. Minus times minus is plus. Or better still, let me write it this way. This is equal to minus 3 times minus 3, which is equal to 9. Okay? Minus times minus is plus. 3 times 3 is 9. All right. In this very one, these two expressions are not the same. So here, we are going to have, when you expand this, okay, you're going to have a square plus 2ab plus b square. But in this case, it's not the same. This is equal to a square times b square. Now, in this case, x plus x is different from x x times x is different from x plus x so here x times x this dot represents multiplication x times x what do you do you pick one of the base and you add the powers according to the law of indices here we have an invisible one an invisible one so pick one of the base which is x and you add the power 1 plus 1 which is equal to x squared so x times x is x squared a times A is A squared. B times B is B squared. But in this case, X plus X has, has an invisible coefficient, 1 here and also here. So 1X plus 1X is equal to 2X. A plus A is equal to 2A. Y plus Y is equal to 2Y. What do you think about this one and this one? Type the answer in the comment. And I will see you in my next video.